Meanwhile, shelters are filling up amid these dangerously low temperatures. Continuing our team coverage now is Keandria Malloy, who is in Meridian with more on how local shelters are helping people during this time. Yes, now places like the Salvation Army recently opened their emergency cold weather shelter a few days ago for those in need during these cold temperatures, and they still have beds available if needed. Take a look. Any temperature reaching below 40 degrees, the Salvation Army makes it a mission to serve those in need. Lieutenant Rob says space is still available at any time and hot meals are served. We and uh, multi-county both still have space available. So last night we had 14 people stay with us. We have 26 beds and then we have an additional 12 cots. So we are able to still handle quite a few people. In the midst of freezing weather, the Francis W. Davidson shelter was able to help two individuals who were stranded in Meridian trying to get to their next destination. We actually picked them up from the Amtrak station, gave them a place to stay overnight, and then Amtrak was able to carry them on to their destination on uh, yesterday. One resident says she's grateful the shelter is a place she can turn to in any given situation. This place is great. It gives you a roof over your head, uh, a nice warm bed to sleep in, and we've had food to eat and hot showers and everything's been great. If you know anyone who is in need during this time, during these cold temperatures, you can head to our website for more information on these shelters. Keandria Malloy, Twin States News, Meridian.